and welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl, JVB. How are you guys doing today? First and foremost, as always, thank you so much for being here on my channel, checking out my reactions. Of course, my own music as well in the description below. You're going to find all the links. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer and composer, vocal performance coach and I love doing reaction videos for you guys. I wanted to check out Lord of the Lost because I just happened to go on um, the Napalm Records YouTube page and Blood and Glitter. I used to do Blood and Glitter on stage and so I have a feeling Lord of the Lost are gonna be amazing and we have to just do that, okay? So be open-minded with me. We're gonna get to all the favorite artists on this channel but we also love some new artists, right? So I've taken the, um, yeah, <laughs> the initiative to just do this and follow my gut because I wanted to do something fresh. Let's just check them out because they just look so much fun that I could be completely wrong. Um, and this could be like a shot in the dark. I don't know. Blood and glitter, sweet and bitter. We're so happy we could die. Oh my god, so <sighs> I love the theatrics. If you know me by now, you know how much I love theatrics. I love his voice. There's something very familiar for someone I've been in, in the goth industrial scene for a long time, and he has this theatrical but yet very well rounded voice that it's not it's not as low as Till from Rammstein. But it, it, it has a little bit of that same quality and delivery um, as far as theatrics and, and enunciation goes. Um, I really love that. Um, are they from Europe? They sound like they're from Europe. Um, let's start over. I need to see this from the beginning. I just love the outfit. I love the tattoo. I love that. You know, it's not everybody's thing, but I do like it. And I like how they started out like blood and glitter. La, la, la. And then he starts like the guitars come in it reminded me a little bit of orgy like oh i just love that <laughs> yeah it's it's a really great like starting point of the song i love i'm i'm a sucker for music production and songwriting and it's so far it's been like really it's a, it's super hokey it's already stuck in my head blood and glitter sweet and bitter we're so happy we could die And I love the, so when you, like for songwriting, right? I just love how he's holding the longs, he's holding the notes longer, right? And now da 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 it's more like the syncopation going on, where it, it changes the pace and the energy of the song. So it's like a really great way to build the song and give us something slightly different, right? To like keep it interesting. I love the dynamics going up, going down, fast, like heavy, softer, awesome. Like, pay attention to how it just totally changes everything here. To ourselves, we are free to break and change. Never forget that it goes. Yeah. There's all that no need to know. Whether above or below, we are all from the same blood. Blood and glitter, sweet and bitter. We're so happy we could die. 
Oh my god, I just, I love the song structure. All the different things that are going on. They are not afraid of taking risks. I love the change when I, I lost my head when I see the glitter coming down. That is so my thing. I love that. So I love the contrast when they were um going into that part and the visuals changed where they looked like normal and they didn't have those costumes on then they went back to this it's just like so interesting the visuals along with the music there's so many different things happening within the, the and it feels like it's been like five minutes there's already so much happened and we're not even halfway through the song awesome song structure um i love it i love the contrast so happy we could die. Blood and glitter, Satan sinner, we do what before we rise. Now go, go, let your blood flow, flow, Hello, DJ. With broken wings we learn to fly. We are blood and glitter. Keep your head up in the clouds, with two feet on the ground. Life's too fast, so. love now you know it was all the glitter before now there's the blood it's just so well done and the interesting part is there's not much have they don't go there's no different sceneries really going on but like the element like the blood then the glitter and then there was like the, the wetness of the blood obviously um but there's something that is happening within the songs like the little things that be being taken in and out the the keyboards that that add like really like this little like uh emo no, i don't want to say emo it's not emo it's a, you know the, the industrial kind of like goth it's like it has all these fun elements while at the same time being like metal you know it reminds me also a little bit of electric callboy um not as dancey but definitely like oh i can so hear that in a gas club it's just like so good i just love his voice he sounds so trained um and when he uses his lower range it sounds just so th there's something very special i can't even put my finger on it but it just has that very authoritative like uh legendary i know this sounds over the top but maybe you understand what i'm saying it's just like a voice that you just cannot not like i think it, it's just like something that i feel like i've heard before and maybe i have maybe a lot of the lost maybe i've heard them before but i feel like i just love 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 his voice and how he colors it how he goes from singing almost like operatic sounding not fully but you know what i'm saying that his tone is so full and so rich sounding and then he goes into the metal voice which like i so admire people who can do that 
like <laughs> I'm gonna learn it like I'm getting more and more interested in doing that because it just adds so much fun and coloration and 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 variety to a song when you're capable of doing that especially in that genre and it's definitely a mixed genre which I really love I love dance you know EDM and then just the metal best of all worlds let's go back to here one more time and that riff is also so good Sweet and bitter, we're so happy we could die. Blood and bitter, sweet and bitter, we're so happy we could die. Blood and bitter, sweet and bitter, we do for me. Changing it up just a little bit. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, there is so much goodness in that song. First of all, I love the different parts, like the way the song builds and then the little breakdown is so cool. The guitar riff also has like a Manson vibe to it, you know, which is like so badass. I didn't know what to expect, um, but I definitely feel like they have, they have something good going on. I don't know any of the other songs, so your recommendations what else do they do that i should check out should we pursue lord of the lost love that vibe love the theatrics i love this song it was also super clever the song started out with the hook blood and glitter da, 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 right i mean napalm records is like known for metal so i i was pretty sure that they're probably gonna scream and get heavy but I wasn't sure sometimes it could just be like very you know ethereal whatever I just didn't know what to expect but what they did really clever is the imagery we be, because like the minute I saw the thumbnail I was like I want to check them out I want to hear them and sometimes it's disappointing because it doesn't match what you thought it's gonna be but they delivered the songwriting was excellent, music production is excellent. I love the blend of metal, of EDM, of like the little scratching, the DJing. I was like a lot. And then at the end, the synth part, that sounded almost like 70s kind of like. So that was like a lot of different little like licks in there and like little sound bites in there that like really added, you know, to to the cacophony of different like genres. Um, and it was still super badass. And I also love how at the end they're standing there like with the blood and they started laughing because they don't take themselves too serious. And the guy with this showing his butt, I thought it was hilarious. And I really, and it's actually brilliant because, you know, 
especially right now, we live in a time where there's like, we love melting genres together. And when you combine that with a great vocal performance, with a great production of the music, with a great songwriting, and the song is so good because it's gonna be, get stuck, it's stuck in my head, right? And so I like that. It's very, very easily digestible. In the comments below, let me know, do you like them? Have you followed them before? What do you know about them? Have you seen them live? I wanna know all the things I need to know. I wanna be in the know of Lords of the Lost. And should we pursue it or should we do a different reaction next time? Maybe it's the one time thing, you know? And that's fine too. But I will personally, if you don't want me to, I will go down the rabbit hole on my own some more, but maybe not do a reaction of it. As always, I want to let you go with something uplifting and positive. Make every day a great day. And guys, it is okay to not be okay. I'm not going to lie. I've had pretty rough past few weeks with, with a lot of things have changed in my life. And like, and it's not bad. It's just like, you know, things change. And so we change. And sometimes... We don't feel good. We just don't feel good. And there's nothing wrong with it. Do not beat yourself up. Do not like be afraid or ashamed to talk about it because you will be surprised how many other people will say, oh my God, you know what? I've been feeling like that lately. And for me personally, I've been feeling like crying. I've been just like slightly depressed and I don't even know why. I have really no reason to. But it's just life, sometimes it happens and we are humans and we pick up energies and frequencies from others. So it could be so many things. The one thing you want to remember, and that's what I've been kind of, you know, I'm lucky to have really good friends and, and have a partner. So I can talk to him about that and to my other friends as well. But the bottom line is you just got to find something that can slowly pull you back out. And even if that just means doing nothing, you know, we feel so guilty sometimes. And I'm so guilty of that when I'm sometimes just like, I just, I, I'm, I've been out all day. I haven't done a thing that I need to do. I need to do reactions. I need to do this. I need to do that. And sometimes all we really need to do is to unplug, unplug, go outside, take a nice deep breath in, go and look at, you know, something that you've never seen before, go in the woods and just really <sighs> let yourself like indulge in, in the magic that is all around us that we oftentimes don't even see because we're so caught up in, in our world, you know, in, in what society teaches us is important and what matters. And yes, money matters. And yes, you have to, you know, have a place to live and you have to have food on the table. But you also have to have your mental health in check. Because without that, it's really hard to function. And sometimes all it takes is like a walk out in nature or like, you know, spending time with your pets or someone else's pets. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because even me, you know, I always look like I'm so happy and blah. And honestly, I am. I'm not faking it. When I'm listening to something like that glitter just make me, I'm, I become like a five-year-old. <laughs> but I'm not going to be lying about the fact that I have gone through some little like, you know, rough times personally. And that is completely okay. So I want to give you permission if you sometimes don't feel like talking, you feel like crying, then just cry, let it out journal you know really like journal and figure out ask yourself those questions what do i really want what is really making me happy and sometimes we don't even know the answer to that because we are still so caught up then meditate but just like really dig inside and never ever give up know that there's always hope there's always another day and that's okay to not be okay i sent you so much love i will see you on thursday there might be a live stream on Thursday, most likely, and I look forward to that, connecting with you more. In the meantime, also check out Patreon, and um, you can always message me on Instagram, not so much on Facebook, I'm hardly on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or um, ah, Twitter, yes, or here, just leave a comment. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.